Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, back for another Malifaux video, this time the stolen from the Plague Cometh box set. Starting off, Ferris Skin 09047. So, Hamlin still plays the pipes, even though he has been subsumed entirely by Plague and uses his melodies to entice others into his service, essentially becoming a little more than slaves and cannon fodder, while his vectors use it for the diseases he spreads. And as fits with uh, the story that Hamlin takes his inspiration from, the stolen here are children. Though in the fiction, the ability works on anybody. There's at least one mention of an adult succumbing to Hamlin's tune and wandering off to serve him. And yes, this little girl is eating a rat. So he's playing around with two layers of shading here to go for a dirty look, though not necessarily an unnatural one. The basing is again my hand sculpted thing I do. And golden skin 09092. The other two will just share a skin tone, so I'll just do one on camera here. And I dipped the wrong end of the brush in the water, oh boy. I thought at first he had bare toes, but these are actually shoes. He is actually wearing shoes. Uh, anyone, like I said, can fall prey to Hamlin's tunes. And these, I should mention, are his totem models, or at least in second edition they are. Again, I haven't seen much in the way of third edition just yet. So. Go ahead and get the skin tone on the last one. Just so I'm showing off each model at least once. He does have bare feet and a knife. Bare knees with sort of sort of socks around his ankles. So not really more wrappings else. Uh, I thought this was hair, but it might be a hat he's got on. Anyway, might be a, wearing a hat as opposed to hair, but we'll see what he ends up looking like as I keep painting here. Let that dry and come back a little bit later. Alright, let's get some hair in here. Blonde hair, 09257. Assuming my bottle of paint will play nice. There we go. Solid coat. Let's see here. Looks like she doesn't have her ears exposed, so I won't have to worry about picking those out later. And then I'll use the same color on this kid. 
man. He's wearing a hat, but has his hair coming out from what beneath it. Uh, getting a little tongue tied here. And then a little dark with wood stain brown 09160. It's going to be sort of a prototype for a few other models coming up. And this child looks looks reasonably well to do, but then again, that time period in history, everybody dressed up more than they do now. Okay, and the same color on the partially devoured rat the little girl is hanging on to. Be a little awkward, but I got it. Okay. All right. Rosy skin zero nine zero six eight. Just a little bit for the rat's tail. Being reasonably careful not to hit any other areas. And there we go. And I'm gonna let that dry before I start working on the clothes. All right. Get back to focus. Deep red zero nine zero zero two. Just a little bit of this. This is just going exclusively in the big bite in the dead rat. So pretty minimal gore effect here, but necessary. <clears throat> Leather white 09062. on a few models, so it's going to be the main color for her dress, and she has a sash and a waist, I'll do that in a different color, just for a little visual interest. And just got my thumb in there. Don't worry about picking out the uh, color on her dress. The uh, color on her dress later. <clears throat> and spread it around a little more. All right. You will apply that to a uh, few more models, but that's a decent start. All right, next up. Templar Blue 09056. We'll have to bear with that noise for a bit. It's the groundskeeping crew doing the lawn. So. It's kind of the deal with a condominium, is many of them will, will pay dues, and those dues pay for landscaping and other 
general maintenance. This one has a little necktie. Pick out. And I'll get her sash in this color as well. Her belt. You know what? That does look more like a belt, so I'll actually do that in oiled leather 09110. get a grip on my pen or brush. Oh boy. Just called it a pen. So it has a little too much water in it. Pick out the belt. And then he's got a hat on. out his suspenders. And shoes. And that just leaves one on those two. One base coat left on those two. Terran Khaki 09122. That one's running a little thin, but it's okay. Um, I forgot a belt there. That's you know, I'm not gonna worry about it actually. Just gonna leave a little bit of tarnished steel, 09206. Tarnished steel, I need to enunciate a little better. Most of the people I work with are native English speakers who still barely speak English. I work with a lot of people who for for English is a second language for them, and they speak it better than some of the people who claim to only speak English because they actually try harder. There we go. And I think we'll go ahead and try to get the last uh, base coat. So, cloudy gray 09089. This is also about cached, but, well, and it's clogged too. A little bit of luck. I'll get enough of this out to finish the job. And while I can't get this anymore locally, I've got another a substitute on hand, another brand that might that might work out. Getting a little tongue tied. A little bit more khaki on the front right there. And being real careful around the feet with that cloudy gray. And this is again a custom sculpted base insert I just did real quick. Just a flat layer of putty with a quick grit, grid carved into it. A 
if you want to see tutorials on this kind of quick custom sculpted basing, let me know down below in the comments. I'll take it under consideration. I've done a few videos, but they've been more or less just, they've not done well, so. I'll apply that to the other two, and then once this is all dried up, I can start shading. Oh, that is really not focusing well. Okay, that my computer did that thing again, where it starts dropping hundreds of frames a second. I didn't catch it, so that sucks, but I can't go back, unfortunately, not without stripping paint for three months, so... Ruddy Leather 09109. This is the first layer of shading, so... Thin it out with about one part water, one part paint in most cases. With darker colors, especially straight black, you'll want to go a little heavier on the water. But I'm just going to go over the brown or the light brown. Now with your base coats, you want to go with the lowest area on the model first, which will generally be the flesh, then the, and go to the highest, and then with shading, you want to go high to low, essentially working in the opposite order you uh, do the base coats in. And then for highlighting, you want to go low area to high area again. So... And this also generally goes much quicker than the um, base coats. Flows more easily to get the coverage you need. Then I'll go ahead and get his pants with khaki shadow 09121. And I can also get his knife. Did I just nick his elbow? I think I might have. It will come out when I do the uh, highlighting though. Alright, uh, Black and Steel 09205 for the knife. Just a little bit of this. Just a tiny pinhead sized dot is enough. This is probably scavenged as well. And then I'll go ahead and do Brion, let's see. Yeah, Brion Blue 09055. And get his tie and that other child's pants. And then I'm going to have to let some things dry before I move on. This is somewhat of a risk. You don't want to do adjacent colors, otherwise uh, you risk one color bleeding into the other. So necktie. And pants. So again, calculated risk right here. But I'm going to give it a try. All right, let that dry and then move on in a bit. All right, let's try this. Okay. Well, had a major brain fart and did the shading. So this is linen white zero nine uh, zero six one. So major brain fart and did the shading on one model before realizing I forgot to hit record. So. <sighs> So, getting the bandages around his arm and getting the shirt is the only color I'll be able to do right this minute before I have to give it a chance to dry just because it's touching so many others. I'll let it flow in there around the 
tie. All right, here we go. A little more on the front of the leg here and there. Okay, let that dry and move on a bit. Okay, the white's dry, so blonde shadow 09256. We'll get some of the hair here. Kind of got into the hair. That's. I'm just gonna live with it. That'll be okay. And then pure black zero nine zero three seven. Just a tiny dot, and I'm going to be using two to three parts water per one part paint on this one. This lad's hair. As well as the rat. Trying to avoid the bit of red from earlier. Uh oh. Let's blot that out. Happened. Okay. Let's try that again. Getting the rat, avoiding the bite and anything else. Okay. Let that dry, but that's just going to leave the flesh tones, the base, and a secondary layer of the whole thing to make them look a little dirtier. Done. Red brick, 09001. Hmm. It's not completely dry in the hair, but it should be dry enough to work with. It's not mixed thoroughly enough. You don't use a paint for a while, or if it's new, the mix mixing medium won't be in with the pigment as thoroughly so. And it'll look separated, essentially a gob of clear with a little bit of pigment in it. You want it thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. Just a tiny dot in that bloody spot there. Where the little girl took a big bite. Let's see, Fair Shadow 09046. Let's take the dry brush and just thin this out around the neck first. Shade in there on the face, on the neck, arms, and the hands. Feet. And they'll actually do the shading on the base last. Draw that in my secondary look here. Rosy Shadow 09067. This is going exclusively on the rat's tail. And a little bit of that flesh coat on the rat, so let's clean that out. We hit the tail. Then, let me find it Golden Shadow 09091. Just pull, 
pulverize my palette here. the other one and move on. Okay, now an extra shade of rainy gray 09039 over everything to help give it a dirty look. And I'm going to thin this out a little more than usual. So I'm going to probably do three to four parts water to one part paint on this. And just get a quick wash over everything except the rat, which is fresh. Okay, let that dry, then get the uh, base, and I can highlight and detail as normal. Alright, Stormy Gray 09088. So that last shade of gray dulled things out enough without compromising much, so that worked reasonably well to give them a dirtier look. Carefully going around the feet. And okay. Apply to the rest and move on in a minute. Twice in one video. Twice in one video. So I've given them all dead black eyes and I've started dry brushing with a little blood red 09003 and 09037 pure black for the eyes. Or, yeah. Lightly dusting with a brush that has almost no paint in it. Cannot believe I've done this twice in one video. I forgot to hit record. Oh, well, it's been a very long couple of weeks for me. Golden Highlight 09093. Oi. So, no paint, or no water, just straight paint. Rubbing out most of it on a paper towel to look like there's nothing left. Unfortunately, I can't just go back and reshoot again without spending about three months stripping paint because that's how long it takes to slowly soak it in chemicals that won't damage it and strip it off. But it's still very frustrating. So, giving them dead black eyes because, well, they are alive. They are no longer in control of themselves and are little more than marionettes dancing to Hamlin's insidious melody. If there's anything left of who they once were, it's buried so far down they'll never show up again. Rosie Highlight 09069. does frustrate me when I make mistakes like this, but there's not much I can do about it other than 
Try to be more cognizant of them, not repeat them. Shield Brown 09. Oh, my name is 09161. <laughs> oh, boy. Like I said, I've had a very long, busy, and stressful week. And this is going on the rat that didn't get bit. And this stolen's hair. You want a ragged feather brush for this. This blonde uh, highlight, the 09258. area to the highest. Ghost white zero nine zero six three. No, it isn't. All right. Dropped a few frames there, so but I didn't start dropping hundreds of them over the course of a few seconds. So take what I can get on that. I'm just concerning myself with getting the most readily visible areas. So I'm not going to worry about the part of her dress covered up by her arms and the rat there. Just catching on the most raised areas while leaving the underlying base coat and shade relatively untouched. Being careful not to nick the suspenders on this one. Ashen Blue 09057. Okay. Okay, first make a mistake and then there's technical difficulties. So let's try this again. Ash and Blue 09057. Highlighting his pants. Carefully his necktie. Khaki uh, highlight zero nine one two three. Now this has become a very frustrating video to make. Silver is 09207. And I'm switching out brushes pretty freely. I have some mailers suitable for this. Burnt orange is 09111. Up. So, 
paper clip through the nozzle. This is going to be some fairly some fine details. Is it Misty Gray 0990? Okay, we're dusting the in retrospect, I should have done this a little rougher, I think, instead of less a grid, more uneven paving stones, but it's done and then pure black to finish up, 09037. Switch into a flathead brush for this. Just going to line the edge of the base. I used to do faction specific colors, but all the third edition changes, I'm just dropping that from Malifo. that to the other two then one final step okay one odd thing after another but time to finish up pure white 09039 then the last step is just to number the backs of the bases so they can quickly tell them up or rather so they can clearly track damage to be fair so taking that paint it's like a base coat and just a simple Roman numeral on the back. One. And two. Does that look a little more symmetrical, I suppose, is what I'm looking for. And three. And there we go, despite a bunch of problems and setbacks, the stolen. Continuing the uh, Clyde Cometh box set. Until then, I'm Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.